coach, it seemed like today was one of the more well-rounded games. You never really went down on a huge hole. You didn't have to fight back. The team did hold a lead, uh, stayed right there. Austin P threw some punches. You, you threw him right back, took him. Um, how would you rate this game and how pleased you are with their performance? Well, overall, I mean, you look at the stats, it was a, it was a, it was a great fan basketball game. Um, you know, both teams led for almost identical amounts of time. The The game was tied for, you know, a fourth of the game, a fifth of the game. Um, so you kind of saw a battle, and you're right. There were, there were both teams threw punches, and both teams took them. And, uh, you know, people just had to make some plays. And it's ironic, defensively is where we probably tightened up at the end and got a couple of stops. Um, you know, I. We, we didn't execute well down the stretch, but, uh, you know, at the end of the day, we did what we had to do to win. Holly's been playing really strong here the last couple of games. How how important is it with your size to have a strong post play? 13 points, nine rebounds against a very athletic team. Well, I mean, it's no secret our post play is our, is our weakness. Uh, and we don't have a really a, a true five, and we really don't have a true four. Uh, we got some four and a halfs and some three and a halfs. Um, but you know, we've got to have that from Holly uh, and, and Shanice, for that matter. Shanice had three points and uh, and five rebounds in ten minutes, and, and was a plus thirteen. Um, so I mean, right now these kids are figuring out ways to win, and I'm not real sure how they're doing it, but uh, but they're figuring it out. And if we can. If we can keep getting better, which I think we're getting better, um, the next the next thing is is can we have we not shot ourselves in the foot with this stretch that we've been through for the last month? Um, so I guess that's that's the big question going forward: is are we going to be able to recover from this stretch when it's over, and it'll be over on Saturday? Is it surprising to see a team like Austin P, which wants to press it so much that you actually attempted? Uh, well, the we we the pace didn't get too fast, um, and, and so I thought I thought that that played to our advantage. Uh, they didn't turn us over a lot, which which they like to turn you over and try to get some transition points. Um, they really didn't do that except except once, uh, and but we kept them off the glass for part of the game. But then late when it mattered, we gave them some second chance points. Um, you know, there, there was just a lot of things that I thought they were going to run away with it a couple times, and they didn't, and, and we were able to, to sustain some effort. You know, I, I don't know how we took the lead. I think Paige went, went on a tear there for about three minutes where she was one of the best players on the floor. Um, but, yeah, their pressure, for us to have 12 turnovers against their pressure is, is really good this time of the year. How important was Shanice's minutes, just over 10, plus 13, and plus minus, but – she was able to get a lot of those loose rebounds, which I think was a kind of a big turning point in that game because I think Austin P had like a four or five point advantage, and that's when it started to swing. Yeah, the the rebounds that she grabbed were huge, and she got a couple when we were kind of on the ropes. Um, you know, it we've got to have it out of everybody, and and if you look at rebounds besides Shanice and Holly, nobody had more than three. Sagan had three. Paige had two, Kiana, Shay, L have one. We can't win with that. Uh, so Shanice and Holly's rebounds, um, I mean, it was the difference in the game because we were able to get a few big stops and get them to rebound. But they were killing us on the glass for a stretch, and I think Shanice grabbed two or three of them that kind of stemmed the tide a little bit. Front one, five, six. Do you, is there anything you can pinpoint as to why you've got the team success outside of maybe getting more help? Uh, I think I think it's that we we haven't had uh, we, we except for the Belmont game uh, we haven't really well I guess that's doesn't really mean it because no we didn't have Gobby we didn't have Emma tonight in the second half but I think but the core group is playing more together and they're getting used to playing together I mean if you really look at this we're in November as far as like getting used to playing with each other I mean we haven't we this is now. Our third week, no, our second week of having everybody here. Well, that should be November. Uh, and, and it just, it, it's sad for these kids that that's where we are, but that's where we are. And I think that's what's why you see us getting better is they're just playing together. And the more they play together, the more they get used to each other, the more they learn what they have to do 
And I think that's probably the biggest reason why we're uh, making a little push.